Hey guys, Jack Spirico here from the uh, Survival Podcast with a uh, quick tabletop review for today's Amazon item of the day. Uh, I've been looking for a really compact telescopic fishing pole that's not a piece of crap. Uh, let's just put it that way. I think I've found that. This is not a perfect solution, but I've never really been happy with any of the telescopic rods. Generally speaking, because most of them end up, that's, that's folded up. This is actually completely recessed into the handle. Uh, and it seems very, very well made. It's made by a company called Zygen. Uh, it is Chinese manufacturer. They're, they're not trying to hide it either. They have some nice uh, Chinese caricature on them. Um, and if there was a really great American-made version of something like this, I, I would be happy to buy it. As you see, it's made with um, stainless steel. Uh, and it's it's really substantially built. It, I, I've, I've had a lot of different experiences with telescopic and multi-piece rods because I like the travel uh, ability and the you know kind of stowed away in a small area so if there's oh gee there's a pond over there I wonder if there's fish in it well let's go find out uh, having gear with you like that you know I have really great gear but it's not always with me but small stuff can be and uh, there's a Browning five-piece uh, medium action, medium light action rod that's kind of become my go-to travel rod. This won't change that. This is, this is not something I'll be throwing in my suitcase when we go to Florida for surf fishing. It's a little bit light for that. Though I'll probably take it and play around with it, uh, to be honest with you. It'd be plenty for things like whiting and stuff like that in the surf. But I don't know that this would be what you'd want with a, with a snook on, especially this size one. Um, this is this rod. I think is five foot or four foot nine, or right around five feet. Uh, they're actually marked in uh, centimeters with the English conversion uh, on Amazon. But I'll go ahead and extend it for you. I can't obviously get the entire rod on camera, but when I get it extended, I'll kind of explain if there is anything that I don't like about it. It's not really I don't like about it. It's not optimum. Is it is so well built from a standpoint of making sure that it's got some backbone to it it's not a really sensitive rod it's a combo combination of uh, fiberglass and graphite it's not one or the other it's basically a hybrid i guess if it was metal you'd call it an alloy and it's got a lot of backbone to it so it's not going to be like your super sensitive uh, rods for fishing for trout but it is uh it, it's I, i'd rather go too hard on the heavy on the stiffness than be too light because you always worry when you have these telescopic rods they're just not going to hold up to any sort of a substantial fish and with you know a five foot long rod and the reel that I'm going to pair with it uh, which is this little guy here and we'll talk about him in the future uh, you know obviously I'm not out there you know looking for for bluefin tuna or something like that this is really designed for me to be something fish backwater creeks for bullhead cats Maybe uh, the channel cat or two, the bass, the, the bluegill, the random perch, things like that. Pairs really nicely with that. They do make a larger size. I may pick one of the larger ones up and go with kind of a little bit more substantial reel with it to have two options and keep these in the truck. Again, what I just love is the way these things collapse on themselves. That's incredible. Even with the reel mounted, and you could actually have this rigged up. My favorite way to rig up stuff like this is for impromptu. Hooks and everything comes off, goes in wherever you keep them. Keep your line on your reel, keep it through your eyes, and uh, just a snap swivel, a light snap swivel. And that way you can drop a snell hook on, you can drop on a, a small lure or jig or something like that really quick because it's for that impromptu stuff. Anyway, 20 bucks. Um, if this was 40 bucks, right, or they say, they're playing the retail game where they say, well, you save $50 because this is normally $70. If this was $70 and you bought it, I would call you kind of dim. If it was $40 and you bought it, I'd ask you why you did it, but I wouldn't insult you. But 20 bucks? Um, these are damn good for 20 This is the best telescopic rod, not multi-piece, but telescopic rod that I've found so far. So check it out. Consider adding it to your kit. Again, at 20 bucks. And uh, pick up a little reel for it. This is the, uh, the what is the name of this? The Tiny Deadbolt is what this little guy is called. This is like a $15 reel. I got this one at Academy. I don't know if they even sell this on Amazon. I'll check for the write-up. But this is a great little reel um, for this level of kit, right? This is, again, this is not what we're going after trophies with. This is what we want for just, you know, putting some food in the uh, freezer, having a little fun, targets of opportunity, uh, or stocking the aquaponics system.